as we discussed in our previous module that uh, ht is a total height of a fermenter and l is the height of the working volume so while designing the body of a fermenter so we should know different aspects because while talking about the 13 basic characteristics of a fermenter so in those characteristics one character was that when we design a fermenter that should have identical geometrical shape so that's why that can facilitate the optimization process when we go from the lab scale to pilot scale and then to industrial scale so if these there is any identity or a similarity in geometrical shapes from the lab scale to pilot scale and then pilot scale to industrial scale then there will be a very easy to optimize the process and to control the process as we have already seen that h is the total height of a fermenter and l is the height of the working volume so just one more point that p is the width of the impeller so you can see here that uh, schematic representation of a fermenter with one impeller having multi blade mean sometimes there is a one impeller having three blades four blades six blades just like that when there is a ceiling fan having a three blades sometimes we have a pedestal fan that have a four blades so by the same case in fermenter impellers having different kind of the blades depending upon the type of the impellers we will uh, study in detail the different type of impellers later on but here in this uh, slide you can see that how a fermenter can be having a different uh, dimensions and uh, uh, the parts here you can see that baffles so that is a drain point here and this is the d mean the diameter of a fermenter so if we know that h l p and d then before designing a fermenter in literature if we want to design a fermenter having single impellers then in the literature there are four uh, three different uh, models are reported one model is reported by steel and maxen 1961 and the second that was reported by vagarich and sherton in 1963 and third that was very famous that is the fermenter with single impeller reported by black barrow 1967 so according to these three models they mentioned different geometrical ratios you can see the operating volume liquid height the ratio between liquid height and the diameter very critical and then the impeller diameter and the diameter so what will be the ratio of the impeller width and to the total diameter of the fermenter and by this ratio we can design the baffle width and then by the impeller height that this is basically that uh, the height of the uh, impeller from the base so these are the different ratios so suppose if we want to design a 300 liter fermenter keep in mind the dimensions given by steel and maxen uh, maxen 1961 we can follow these lines so if we want to design a fermenter with a single impeller with keeping in mind and shelter uh, vagarich and shelter then we can use these the same the black barrow is very critical because that given that has given uh, the impeller height and d ratio so that is 0.33 so by using the geometrical ratio we can design any fermenter having single impeller so when we want to design a fermenter we have to calculate in detail 
that what is the total volume of the fermenter so it's a very geometrical formulas so in case of this it's a very easy because if a fermenter is in a such shape we can just by using this uh, formula v is equal to pi r square h by this formula we can calculate the total volume of that shape but we know that sometime there is a oblong or a dome shape upper plate is not straight that is dome shape so in order to calculate the volume of the dome either on upper plate either by the round bottom then we have to follow or this formula that v is equal to pi h over 6 into 3 a square plus h square here you can see that h is basically the height of the dome and a is uh, the distance of the periphery from the center sometimes it h and a are equal to r but all the time the h and the a are not equal to r so if we know the h and a of a fermenter then we can calculate the dome shape and the round bottom and then by plus in this addition of this uh, two volumes we can have uh, the calculations of the total volume of a fermenter vessel.